The story of Edgar Sattel, written by American author David Robluski in 2008, is a captivating family saga set in rural Wisconsin during the 1970s. This novel skillfully weaves together elements from William Shakespeare's Hamlet with the story of Edgar, a remarkable young boy who was unable to speak. The initial critical reception praised the ambitious scope of its intricate plot, its extensive cast of characters, the bold reinterpretation of Hamlet, and its exploration of the complex dynamics within a dysfunctional family, particularly the turbulent relationship between feuding brothers. In the late 1940s, brothers Gar, also known as Edgar, and Claude Sautel grow up on their family's farm in northern Wisconsin, where they specialize in breeding dogs using cutting-edge genetic theories. When the Korean War breaks out, Claude, never truly passionate about the dog breeding business, leaves the farm to serve in the Navy. Meanwhile, Gar assumes responsibility for the family enterprise. He marries Gertrude, affectionately called Trudy, and together, they have a son named Edgar. Despite being born mute, Edgar forms deep bonds with several of the family's prized dogs, and at a young age, his father encourages his talent for training them. At the age of 12, Edgar's uncle Claude unexpectedly returns to the farm. Although Edgar is unsure of the reasons behind the tension between his father and uncle, he senses their strained relationship. Shortly after Claude's arrival, he abruptly departs again. A few days later, Edgar discovers his father lying on the barn floor, struggling for breath. Edgar witnesses his father's final moments before he passes away. The coroner suspects an aneurysm, but the exact cause of death remains uncertain. Determined to uphold their family's legacy, Edgar and his mother commit to maintaining the farm. However, when his mother falls ill with pneumonia and becomes bedridden, Edgar becomes overwhelmed with the responsibilities. One fateful night, he forgets to feed the dogs in the kennel, leading to a violent altercation among them. Edgar realizes that managing the farm is too much for him, and with the guidance of the compassionate local veterinarian, Dr. Papineau, he reaches out to his uncle for help. As Claude returns to assist Edgar, an unexpected romantic relationship blossoms between him and Edgar's mother. Over the following weeks, their bond deepens, creating a complex dynamic within the family. Edgar becomes deeply troubled by the blossoming relationship between his mother and uncle. One rainy night, as he investigates the source of the dog's distressing barks, Edgar witnesses the ghostly apparition of his father. Guided by the ghost, he discovers a hidden hypodermic syringe concealed beneath the barn's floorboards. Edgar becomes convinced that the syringe is connected to his father's mysterious death and becomes determined to uncover the truth. When a potential buyer visits the farm to evaluate the dogs, Edgar orchestrates a demonstration where his trained dogs retrieve a prop syringe and place it at Claude's feet. The performance has the desired effect on Claude, leading Edgar to believe that he has identified his father's killer. However, his mother is furious at Edgar's manipulative dog show and reprimands him. In a state of desperation, Edgar, thinking he sees Claude eavesdropping on their conversation, swings a hay hook at the figure he believes to be his uncle. Tragically, he strikes and kills Dr. Papineau instead. At his mother's urging, young Edgar flees the farm and seeks refuge in the forest, accompanied only by three loyal dogs he has trained. Surviving on stolen food, Edgar believes that their only safety lies across the border in Canada. However, when one of the dogs injures its paw on a sliver of glass, Edgar, in a twist of fate, seeks help from the owner of a house he had previously robbed. The owner, Henry Lamb, offers Edgar shelter while the dog recovers and even offers to drive him to Canada. But when a tornado strikes, Edgar feels a sense of urgency to confront his past and realizes that he must stop running. He leaves two of his dogs with Henry and heads back home. Determined more than ever to uncover the truth behind his father's death, Edgar stops at his father's grave before returning home. He leaves a note in the kitchen for his mother, informing her that he will see her the next morning. However, his uncle intercepts the note, adding an air of suspense and uncertainty to the situation. Filled with fear and concern for what Edgar might do, Claude takes decisive action. He contacts the police chief, who is also the son of the deceased veterinarian, and informs him that Edgar, still wanted for questioning, has returned to the farm. That night, while Edgar is sleeping in the barn with the dogs, he witnesses Claude hiding a bottle. 
Convinced that the bottle is somehow connected to his father's death, Edgar confides in his mother and requests a night alone in the barn to search for it. However, unbeknownst to Edgar, the local police chief, aided by Claude, plans to storm the barn and apprehend him. Their intention is to subdue Edgar by using rags soaked in ether, an item the police chief carries with him. In a half-asleep state, Edgar panics when the police chief attempts to seize him. Acting on instinct, he grasps for something to defend himself and grabs a handful of quicklime. In his desperate attempt to fend off the police chief, Edgar hurls the quicklime into the officer's face, causing severe burns to his eyes. Simultaneously, the fumes from the ether bottle ignite in the barn's unprotected lights, triggering a massive fire. As chaos ensues, Edgar's first priority is to guide as many of the kennel dogs to safety as possible. He then turns his attention to salvaging the file records of the family's dog breeding business, stored in the barn. Unbeknownst to Edgar, his uncle Claude had hidden the poison among the files in the cabinet. Desperate to prevent Edgar from discovering the poison, Claude enters the blazing barn, retrieves the bottle himself, and stabs his nephew with a syringe filled with the deadly substance. Edgar collapses amidst the swirling flames, and the barn becomes completely engulfed in fire. In the midst of the chaos, Claude, consumed by panic, envisions the outline of his deceased brother in the swirling smoke. Disoriented, he frantically searches for an exit but eventually succumbs to the smoke, meeting his demise. Outside, the dogs, sensing the danger, flee from the inferno and venture into the uncertain freedom of the surrounding woods. It is in this dramatic and tragic climax that the story concludes. Please note that this study guide refers to the 2009 paperback edition published by HarperCollins ECC. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.